Sweden's Prime Minister Fredrik Reinfeldt is on a desperate scramble for votes ahead of elections on September the 14th. His centre-right government is seeking an unprecedented third term, but it's trailing the left by somewhere between 7 and 10 percentage points. So why has he come to Vorgorda, a rural town of 5,000 inhabitants, to be interviewed by a priest? The move is particularly striking in Sweden, a place one churchgoer described to me as the most secular country in the world. But party leaders from across the board have been making the pilgrimage to Vorgorda and the Uniting Church in Sweden since 1968 to get their message across. Reinfeldt has taken the consensus-loving Swedes in a radically new direction. In his eight years, private companies have taken over more and more public schools and hospitals, while numerous taxes have been cut. For this election, he stresses how Sweden has exited the financial crisis better than most European countries. We have created more than 250,000 new jobs, which is uh, an achievement if you compare with other countries. Uh, at the same time, you've seen a decrease in employment in Denmark, and it's actually uh, no growth in employment in Finland. But Sweden is the odd one out with stronger growth, stronger um, uh, public finances, and also the growth uh, when it comes to employment. On stage at Vorgorda, Reinfeld talks about immigration, foreign aid, and unemployment benefit. He's interviewed by Britta Hermansson, a priest from Gothenburg, who's one of the few people to talk to all eight main party leaders in this campaign. She says thinking about Christian values is important, as many Swedes have lost their spirit of generosity. I think in this secular world we lost some of that. We all we think about what can I get? How can I have a better life? How can I have a bigger flat? How can I have a nice, more nice car? Uh, how can I do that and that? I, I, I. And I think the shirts have to come out and say, how can I be a more generous person? The Prime Minister shook up this election campaign by saying that Swedes should open their hearts to immigration. But he also warned the growing cost of welcoming refugees meant he'd make no more spending 